What's up guys, Corey here at ECS Tuning and I'm sitting right in the E46 M3 sweepstakes car. We've been super busy, putting a lot of time of work in this thing. If you've been following along, you've seen that we put huge brakes on it. We've got the Super Sprint exhaust, that sounds amazing. We got coilovers from Bill Stein, they're sitting low. But I think it's time we add some power and go fast like Ricky Bobby. So let's get in the shop and check it out. All right, right off rip, we need to get the E46 M3 in stock form on the dyno. That way we can see numbers and where we're at before we throw any modifications on. So if you're into BMWs, at one point or another, you've probably experienced cooling system failure or something of that nature. Our friends over at CSF hooked us up with a big fatty radiator. It looks great, it's gonna keep this thing cool. They also sent us an oil cooler to keep the oil temperatures down while you're ripping the sink. Super common failure point on these engines, uh, the S54 is commonly known for the rod bearing failure and that's because these engines are not like regular commuter cars. These are practically race engines that are street legal. They're producing over 100 horsepower per liter, about 333 to the crank. So these things are obviously going to need some maintenance down the road. We went ahead and threw in the WPC treated rod bearings for you. That way you're covered and you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so obviously our E46 M3 isn't brand new. It's got about 60,000 miles on it. So the clutch was feeling a little tired and worn out, so we went ahead with a DKM clutch and flywheel kit just to freshen that up and hold the power that we're gonna be putting to it. Next up, and it's one of my favorites, the CSL style carbon fiber intake. This is going to outperform the limited stock intake, especially paired with the new Super Sprint exhaust system that we just got installed. Obviously the M3 didn't come with a CSL style intake, that's because it's not a CSL. They weren't offered in the states, but we said screw it, let's design our own. This thing is super rad, it's 100% carbon fiber, even down to the internal trumpets. The diameter of this intake is ridiculous. If you're not careful, you might even suck up a watermelon or even a small child. So with the amount of air being pulled into the engine with the new CSL style intake, it's vital to tune accordingly. It uses an alternate air temp sensor which requires alpha and ECU tuning or a standalone engine management system. We flew in our man Sean from Turner Motorsports to work his magic to fine tune the S54 and make us some more power. Alright guys, so we're back on the dyno, we're ready to get this thing fine tuned. We're going to actually upload the results, what we make, in the next video, so stay tuned. <laughs> get it anyway I want to emphasize that this is the last weekend that you guys can enter to win this car so go over and we'll spend ten dollars or just like always every ten dollars is a reoccurring entry if you don't want to win this car don't spend ten dollars but I don't know what's wrong with you so get over to ecstuning.com buy something for ten dollars or more get over to ecstuning.com get a chance to win this awesome car until next time we'll see you later